Good morning and welcome. I hope you're doing wonderfully wherever you are in, the, in this beautiful world of ours. And um, yes, welcome to your Yoga Solutions podcast. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the limbs. Um, well, it's more to do with how we interact with the world. It, it's a two-way thing, you see. It's a two-way relationship. And this, this is what most people kind of don't get because it's not in their experience. As, as in, like most people will reach out to interact with the world. They'll, they'll do something to it. And, or they try and pull something in from the world. And they do that with their whole selves. And in doing so, they kind of distort where they're doing it from. It's, it's an external activity. Uh, I know it sounds a bit vague, but uh, I'm talk talking about, you know, just, um, you know, spreading your hands and pushing up into dog pose. <sighs> well, that's fine. Nothing wrong with it particularly, apart from um, w w what you're doing is you're pushing the ground away. You're pushing the world away. <laughs> and um, obviously you only have to push your own weight around, but that's what you're doing. Okay, so what's wrong with that inherently? It's kind of not acknowledging the the reality of the nature of the body and being human and being alive. Um, we we <coughs> you can radically shift your yoga practice by understanding that any interaction that you have with the world on a physical level can become support for you. And that's what you're looking for, yeah? You know, when you're doing your dog pose, you might feel like you have to push yourself up, but you're not trying to, um, it's not an exercise where you're trying to get strong at holding the world away from you, <laughs> okay? Um, if you change your mind and understand that the limbs are, uh, work in two directions. There's your relationship to the world through the way you use your hand or your foot. And then there's the world's relationship to you in how those wings at the other end of your hands come back into you. And, and you, can, you can do that with space as well. If you, if you treat your arms as wings, then um, you can get the same idea. Instead of trying to push air away, in order to fly, you want to feel supported back through your arms. So it, it's an idea and it uh, seems vague and you can, you can just try it out um, with something very simple. Okay, So if you were to lean into a hand and, and just sort of relax your weight, okay? you've got two things going on. You've got, you've got your hand receiving your weight and if you're relaxed you won't be pushing it away. You'll, you'll, the shoulder will come up because there's a reciprocal force coming up through your shoulders, okay? So that is a natural relationship where you give your weight and you receive support. When you do your dog pose, if you, if you do that with the intention to push the ground away, then that's the outcome you'll have. You'll be in a situation where you're holding away from the ground by, with effort. But if you decide that the way you interact with the world is to feel supported. So you lean through a hand and let that bone come up through you. You lean through the other hand and let that bone come up through you. What you'll feel is relaxed. And the same needs to be true for the legs. So there you go. You, know, re um, you can really shift your experience of your posture work by understanding this simple principle is that when you use your limbs, it's not a one-way action. It's not outwards or inwards, it's both. There is an outwards component that comes from your hands or your feet and uh, the forearm and the foreleg. And then there's a back into you component that comes through the upper arm, shoulder, through to your spine. And from the leg, it's through the upper thigh, through to your hips and spine. And if you can uh, approach your postures, presuming 
that whatever you do outwards should support you inwards, then you will change your practice. Okay? And I'm not going to do much any more than that on, on today's Yoga Solutions, because I want to give you the idea. I want you to go and play with it. Uh, I've given you a little bit of demonstration. But um, what, what, I'm, what I've decided to do is from, from now on, I, I will occasionally put out these ideas on, for free uh, on um, Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. But um, if, if you want to go into a bit more depth with the thing that I'm offering, then become, uh, uh, become a member of my website. It's um, www.aquaviva.yoga. Um, pre premium members get access to, to these things and you can become a silver member for uh, less than a pound a week, I think, or a bit more, yeah, about a pound a week. It's five, five or a month, okay? Dirt cheap and you, you'll get a class every week on a specific topic. Uh, just half hour sessions that um, take you into a new experience of things that will help your practice. Um, that's it. I will love you and leave you and I will see you same time, same place next week. Much love. I've been Mark J. Aquaviva, by the way. I forgot to mention my name by now. <laughs>